first, let me keep it a buck. I just want Trump out. You know what I'm saying? I, of course, want free Medicare. And this is why it's important to have free Medicare, because look, look, look what's happening right now. You see why we should have been having free Medicare for a long time. I, of course, think that we need a uh, free college education. That's second. And I want Black people to stop getting killed. And no justice for it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I just want more stricter laws that is fair to black citizens. And you know, it's fair for cops too. If you kill somebody that is that doesn't have a weapon on them, you go to jail. You know what? If I kill somebody, I gotta go to jail. You gotta go to jail too. A few years later. In the world, yeah, New York, they, they be like, New York is dirty. And it is dirty. And we're gonna get even dirtier with the budget cut and yeah we talking about we we could fund two wars that's like a, trying to front like yeah i got the money to support two but you really don't y'all talking about y'all don't y'all don't make negotiate negotiation with the odds well y'all need to sit the down with these people and find a and, and find agreement no we cannot wars we can we go into this video please pardon the echoes on this video if you know this, I'm still struggling to see if I can arrange a lot of things in this studio and to make sure my microphone is okay. So I get a lot of people complain about this on a daily basis. Now going into the video, American rapper and songwriter Cardi B, a Biden supporter, recently voiced her strong opinion on social media about the current political situation in the United States, specifically addressing the budget curve in New York City and criticizing Biden regime. The Latin celebrity are now starting to flip on Biden in a recent online outburst. Can it be whose real name? I don't want to go further into that. We are going to take an exclusive look into what is going on exactly. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. And if possible, why not share out this video? Yeah. I'm an angry ass. I'm an angry bitch. Y'all need to get in here because I'm about to I'm about to go off right now. Right now. Yeah, I'm about to go off right now. Come on in. Hold up. Oh, y'all outside because usually I'll be having like 30,000 people by now, but I have 24,000. I need y'all to spread. I need y'all to spread this video. And if something happens to me, it's because I'm speaking truth. So, God forbid something happens to me or my family or some shit is because niggas is after me because I'm speaking the truth. And here's the truth, right? In New York, there is a 120 million budget cut. There's a 120 million budget cut in New York that is going to affect schools, public libraries, and um, the police department. Y'all know what I'm going to It is what it is. There's going to be a $120 million budget cut. With schools, with the libraries, and the cops, and the police department, and a five million dollar budget cut in sanitation, of a budget cut in sanitation, bitch, we're gonna be drowning with rats. We're going to be drowning. The resume that they send, I don't. Give, I'm not endorsing no presidents no more. Cause how is there a hundred hundred million dollar budget cut in New York City for for um? Schools, library, uh, police safety, and sanitation. Yeah, Joe Biden is talking about like, yeah, we could fund two wars. We could fund two wars. Oh, we don't got it, but we got it. Like, we're the greatest nation. No, the not. We're going through some shit right now. Like, say it. Say it. We really going through. Uh, we, we, we really, 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 really right now. A hundred and twenty million dollar like where 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 these kids are gonna go? Like I'm lucky. I'm lucky, I'm blessed, I'm whatever. But like what ha what's gonna happen to my nieces? What's gonna happen to my my nephews? What's gonna happen to my cousins, my aunts, my friends? They're living they're, they're living that's 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 living in the hood. I'm I'm from the Bronx. I don't wanna see my shit affected. The Bronx Brook it, it's gonna affect the whole New York. A hundred a hundred and twenty million budget cut on schools, libraries. 
Police department and sanitation. Bitch, New York is already dirty. Super dirty. Like, yo, you know what's embarrassing? Like, it's like, you know, like, I know people from California. I know people from Atlanta. So we always be like, I always be like, yeah, New York is the greatest place in the world. Yeah, New they, they be like, New York is dirty. And it is dirty. And we're going to get even dirtier with the fuck. Yes, when you take a look at this, can it be voted for Biden and even campaign for him? She has suddenly realized what a lot of people already knew. When she declared that she'll be voting for Biden, a lot of people were actually wondering if she knows what she is doing or the decision she's taking on. It has not been long. Cardi B is already regretting the decision she took. Not only her, a lot of people are just in the same situation, though they are not bold enough to speak up. It is high time people realize. I saw some Libras on TikTok crying, oh, we should not think about Biden, we should think about the party. If Trump is elected, oh, Trump will be deporting immigrants, Trump will be doing this, will be doing that, he will rip. You know, just trying to justify what we already know. Believe me, if Trump was in power, we would not get this wars we are seeing. We would not see. I don't know if some people actually enjoy this. Why are they still in support of what Biden is doing? I thought by now, a lot of people should change their mind. Though I'm seeing it happening on social media, Cardi B spoke with a lot of people and they asked her questions. According to this article recently put out by a gateway pundit, American rapper and songwriter Cardi B, a Joe Biden supporter, recently voiced her strong opinion on social media about the current political situations in the United States, specifically addressing the budget cut in New York City and criticizing Biden regime. The Latin celebrities are now starting to flip on Biden and a recent online outburst, Cardi B, whose real name is Bacalis Malinis, expressed frustrations and concerns over a significant budget reduction in New York, impacting schools, public libraries, and the police department. I'm angry about right now. I'm, you know, she's fond of using some kind of word. You all need to get in here because I'm about to go off right now, Cardi B said during her Instagram live, urging her followers to watch her video. I need you to spread this FN video. I need you to spread this video. And if something happens to me, it is because I'm speaking truth. So God forbid something happens to me or my family or some because and is after me because I'm speaking the truth. She highlighted the potential negative consequence of this cut, such as reduced sanitations leading to increase and infestations, increased rat infestation due to the Democrat, due to Democrat Eric Adams and Biden fair policies in New York. There is one hundred and there is one hundred and twenty million budget cut that is going to affect schools, public libraries, and the, po and the police department, and a five million budget cut in sanitation. Okay, this is Cardi B expressing her frustration. And she made it clear that there are people actually going after her for speaking the truth. To me, she should continue to speak the truth, but she should be ashamed for voting Biden we said this. She's realizing this in 2023. We're almost going to 2024. It is high time Cardi B changed her mind never to vote for Biden again. If she still vote for Biden, they come online to run like this. It will be insulting to me.